Hey everybody, this is Brad, uh, otherwise known as Pug Weasel. I have a dilemma. Here's what happened. I basically have put my Beretta uh, 92, 90-2, uh, Beretta 90-2, 40 caliber, I put it up on consignment. I love the gun, but basically what happened was is that I decided it was it was this big gigantic pistol. It wasn't very functional. I'm I'm months away from getting my conceal and carry and I needed something that was going to be more functional. So, if you watched any of my my videos, you know I already have a uh, Beretta uh, PX4 Storm compact which will be fine for when it's cooler. I can wear a jacket, I can wear a uh, long sleeve shirt with some, you know, the tails out so that it will cover up the the gun in its holster, whether I'm wearing it uh, inside the waistband or outside. But my issue is is that I am now concerned about what I'm going to replace that Beretta with. Maybe someday I'll get to buy maybe a Beretta 96 or 92 A1, which you know is essentially the same gun. But uh, I decided to let that go. Because I don't want to, I, I don't want to go into debt on another gun, but I feel like I need something that's subcompact. I'm seriously considering the Ruger LC9. Uh, it needs to be a nine millimeter, I think, because I want to stick with one caliber. Uh, my PX4 Storm is nine millimeter, and I want to stick with it. So uh, I think I, I'm looking at a nine millimeter as well to save money on having the same round on every platform I'm using. So. Uh, I just want some advice. See what you guys think. Do you think I should, you know, I, I do you think I should get the LC9, the Ruger? Uh, oh, and the important thing here is this. I am left-handed. And one of the reasons I'm thinking about the LC9 is because while everything is on it is made for a right-hander, all these, the safety and the, the, uh, uh, slide catch and all of that stuff, slide release. Basically though, because it's double action. And I consider double action to be the same as having a safety. So I would have to get used to the trigger, but I would also be able to carry it and feel safe with it in double action. As opposed to, say, something that's uh, single action only or something that if you have one in the chamber, it has to be single action. Uh, that I don't trust myself with. I don't trust carrying it like that. I don't want to try and... Uh, convince myself that I could learn to, you know, you know, pull the gun quickly, uh, rack the slide and get a shot off in time. That is, I, I think that's ridiculous. You know, you'd have to really practice a lot and then you'd have to practice in every different kind of way that you might have to shoot. Uh, and I have to practice right-handed and left-handed, even though I'm left-handed because obviously if someone tries to carjack me, my left hand is not in the opportune place for me to protect myself. So question is, is do you think that I should get the LC9 or is there another uh, subcompact pistol out there that you think I should get? Now, I'm looking at single stacks. I'm looking at a, a pistol with a single stack because my issue is not shortness or uh, shortness of the grip or shortness of the barrel. Uh, my issue is it not being too wide uh, too thick because of the way I'm built and what it's going to, and that causes the, the gun to stick out in certain different ways and so on and so forth. So that's the challenge. That's what I want to know. That's what I want help with. You know, so I'd like to hear your comments. 